I'm a radio astronomer, which means that I design and build radio telescopes in amazing locations like the outback of Western Australia, and I use them to explore the universe. At the moment, we're using them to look back in time to see the formation of the first stars and galaxies. The MWA is a low-frequency radio telescope that we've built in partnership with 14 other institutions around the world. It's located in the Murchison region of Western Australia, which is incredibly sparsely populated. It's about 800 kilometres from Perth, and we need to be there to pick up the whisper faint signals from the universe. But it presents a big challenge. We need to get all of our data, uh, several gigabits per second, from there down to Perth to the supercomputing centre. So that's where Arnett come in. They've provisioned the link 800 kilometres from the Murchison down to Perth. We have a dedicated 10 gigabit connection on that link. The only way that we can execute a project like this is in partnership with Arnett. We have a great relationship with Arnett and we have excellent communications between our teams. And over the last decade, Arnett have really put a lot of thought and a lot of assistance with the infrastructure into helping us. Without Arnett, we would not be uncovering the secrets of the universe. Well, the SKA will be hundreds or thousands of times more challenging in the data flows than the MWA. And Arnett are involved in the design work for the SKA at an international level. So they're bringing the lessons that they've learned from the MWA and our other projects into the SKA domain in order to make sure that uh, the data transport for the SKA is going to be done properly. For me, the most exciting thing is being able to build a telescope in the desert and then use it to look back in time 12 or 13 billion years to when the universe was a youngster and look for the very first time for the first stars and galaxies being formed in the universe.